Hello, this is Wiesen from Ruin and Wiesen and please excuse my English, I'm not a native speaker and excuse the bad quality of this video but I'm going to show you how the mono joystick works so this is a prototype of the mono joystick, you can see it has a joystick here it has six LEDs to show the selected tracks and it has six buttons to select a track as two additional buttons as well as well as that is LED so what those track buttons do is just select the current channel on which the joystick is sent on to which track it's sent so you can actually just switch it by pressing the select button and pressing one of the track buttons so we're going to select track one and moving the joystick will send MIDI data to the mono machine so if I'm going to play the first track and then use the pitch wheel You can actually hear it has a filter sweep as well, but um, the first parameter is pitch, which I can then just send, just modify by choosing, uh, by using the assign menu on the mono machine. So I'm gonna put the pitch on one octave. I actually move it to something a bit more useful, which is going to be um, the decay, and not make it too big. Okay, and then I have fill the track, uh, fill the switch on on both up and down directions, which I'm going to to change to make them slightly more useful as well. Um, not make the bass movement so big. So, and I'm gonna save that in the kit. So here we go. We have a joystick, and we can play with it. But what you can do as well is, uh, if you want to change a parameter on not the currently selected track, but don't really want to go through the whole movement of changing the currently selected track, you can just press a button temporarily, and it will light up the LEDs here. And when you release, it goes back to the to the active channel. So what you can do is play with it. And now, assuming I want to play with the chords on track three, I will just press. I will just press track 3 on the mono joystick and move the joystick around so So that's like changing a track um, um, One neat trick is to change the joystick and then release the track button before moving the joystick back to the middle position and it will stay that way So what you can do is just like the chords are gonna stay that way until I switch them back so one neat trick I can do as well is press multiple button sounds so if I want to for example change the drums I can just let go and the bass will stay unaffected by the whole tweaking release it, it will stay away and then kick it back So that's some neat tricks you can do with just the joystick features of the mono joystick, but it has a few features more. It's, for example, if I start tweaking like wild and uh, and modifying all the sounds, basically. And uh, what I can do now is if I play it, it's really weird. I can just revert to the saved kit by pressing those two buttons here so I can just go and we'll revert to the safe parameters in the kit you just had and furthermore what you can do is just not revert the whole kit but just revert a single track so for example if I'm going to change the chords uh, or maybe the bass drum it's m easier to hear um, I'm going to tweak the bass drum with the joystick feature and then kick it back by just pressing shift and track 5 so no bass drum anymore and that's revert to the saved kit uh, to the saved track 
So that's pretty useful on the mono machine because I think on the on the machine drum you have this revert to save kit function by pressing function and classic extended. Right, well revert all the tracks and on the mono machine I think it's pretty useful to have this one per individual individual track because each track has a much stronger personality than on the machine drum. Okay, and one last feature which is pretty amazing as well is one feature that I'm really missing on the mono machine is the ability to go to select press function and tweak parameters so it will change on every page. Well now you can do that by just pressing select here. So if I'm going to go to the filter for example, play my pattern and I'm going to press select and tweak the filter here. I will change the, the filter on every page. So I can do my, my crazy... And now that I have tweaked the kit into oblivion, I can just... kick it back with the revert to save kit function. And uh, now you can do that select pressing select and tweaking a knob will change the parameter on every page. On every track, sorry. But if I'm just pressing some button here some buttons here it will send that tweak to those pages but not to every page. So for example if I'm tweaking my bass and I want to tweak the bass drum as well. This is this was just tweaking the bass sound. And uh, now I'm going to press 5 as well and it's going to remove the bass drum as well. And you'll notice that all the other parameters are staying the same. If I want to tweak 2 as well, and bring back bass and, and kick drum, remove the hi-hats and kick it back. Yes, that's all the amazing things you can do with a mono joystick and have much more fun with your mono machine.